WBC rules, 10-point must scoring system, three knockdown rule wave, mandatory eight count, no saving by the bell except for the 15th round, scheduled 15 rounder, of course. Referee, no voice in the scoring, scoring by three judges. The referee is Bertini Marcello of Italy. Two of the judges are Mexican, which gives one pause for thought since Sanchez is Mexican. And one judge is from California. Sanchez, who had a brilliant fight plan against Little Red Lopez and exposed Red's vulnerability to the right lead. Little Red in attendance here. He's supposed to fight the winner of this bout. World featherweight ground at stake. We're a minute 15 into round one. Ruben Castillo, the left of your screen, the champion in the white trunks with his back now to you, Sanchez. Castillo in tremendous shape. He was off balance, Sanchez was, as Castillo scored with a left. He just scored well with a combination in his fight against Arguella. He's back at natural weight now. Seems beautifully fit. Less than a minute to go in round one. Steo used his left beautifully to pick off that Sanchez right. This a few seconds back. Steady ring movement and two good lefts by Castillo. I told you this kid's a classy fighter. His only loss has been to Arguello, where the superior reach and strength told. Counting down toward the end of round one. We're going to stay between rounds. So we come to the end of it. For round two, we are live in Tucson, Arizona. Sanchez seeking to attack. Effectively staying out of range. Notice how Castillo so often up to this point can make Sanchez miss. Ten rounds, he led so great a fighter, Castillo did, as Alexis Aguayo on points. Until Alexis, a superb puncher, caught him in the 11th. Quick-handed, he beat Sanchez to the punch in that quick exchange, and again, the left. Sanchez purposely looking for an opening for the spot. Once again, the third man in the ring is Bertini Marcello of Italy. In that exchange, taking it to Sanchez. Good left and right combination by Castillo. I'm a 
must say, he looks so much quicker at this lower weight than he did against Arguello. Right there, Sanchez doubling and tripling on the jab. Then the quick Castillo combination and an answering counterpunch by Sanchez. Good, swiftly paced fight thus far. But as I said, two quality fight fighters. Good left by Castillo. We're approaching the end of the second round. And a good scrap thus far. Blouse. What if it were? We're back live in Tucson. That's Salvador Sanchez, WBC featherweight champion of the world. We're in the third round. He is fighting Ruben Castillo. His championship at stake, his first title defense, coming in the wake of his brilliant victory over Little Red Lopez. But in the first two rounds, a very, very quick, superbly conditioned Castillo has been beating Sanchez to the punch, has been steadily on his toes with excellent lateral movement. However, the beauty to Sanchez is his patience. He is a patient fighter. Right there, he got in two good rights. One to the midriff, one to the chest. Each fighter is now 22 years of age. A pair of kids, Sanchez 21, when he beat Lopez. Sanchez scoring briskly, first with the left, then with the right in combination. And Sanchez thus far enjoying a much better round in this, the third round. Good left by Castillo. with his left. That's what he's been doing. Although in this third round to a lesser degree. Yes, we are live from Tucson, Arizona. The weather, beautiful. Castillo doing a good job, beating the champion to the punch. And quickly getting his gloves up to pick off Sanchez blows. Counting down now toward the end of round three. And right there you saw Castillo do what he's been doing so effectively. The left and right quickly in there. And Sanchez knows he's in a fight. Ruben Castillo. He was born in Billings, Montana. He's a resident of Bakersfield, California, a local hero in the manner of Frank Gifford, who, of course, during his halcyon days on the gridiron, was notable among Bakersfield citizenry. This is round four, live from Tucson. And we opened on Castillo because he's been carrying the fight. He has been beating Sanchez, the champion, to the punch. He has been using the left and right in beautiful combination. He has been swift and precise, swift in his movements, fighting at a number of pounds lighter than he did against Alexis Arguello. And up till now, it's made, I think, a telling difference. But Sanchez, purposeful and patient, as I have noted. A.B. 
NBC Sports, as you know, has been on top of the Colorado Springs U.S. Olympic Committee and House of Delegates vote story with Jim Lampley as our correspondent there. It had been mentioned, and I want to make the point that it's not yet been confirmed, that the vote was apparently two to one not to send an American team to the Moscow Olympics in this, the year 1980. That had been reported, but it has not yet been confirmed. Now back to the action here in round four. Sanchez working more methodically in this round. A better round, I think, for Sanchez. Right there, the Sanchez right, which so dominated Little Red Lopez, was in evidence. Castillo must remain constantly wary. Sanchez can punch. And although that exchange was led by Castillo, it wound up with Sanchez's counterpunching, giving him the better of it. the fourth round. Sanchez is left working better in this round. And the round on its way to its conclusion. I'll tell you that Ruben Castillo is a gutsy little gamester. Just winked at me as he was sitting in his corner about to come out for this, the fifth round. Indeed, I have him ahead in my personal and subjective scoring, three rounds to one at this point. But the champion changed the tempo of the fight as I saw it in the fourth round, using his left effectively, his patience and method working, and even now as he is doing, and with perhaps superior upper body strength. Right, he's count, counter punching now much more effectively. He just did it in one exchange and then scored well with the right. So Sanchez has come alive and look at him go. This is the fifth round. And Sanchez continues to score with his counter punching. These two kids reflect the way the lower weight classification fighters have taken over boxing in this country. The welterweights, we've told you about them. These are featherweights and include Little Red Lopez and the brilliant new lightweight champion, Hilmer Kenty of Detroit. Remember him? A kind of lowercase Sugar Ray Leonard. These guys provide the action these days as Larry Holmes stands alone among the heavyweights. I'd like to alert our stations along the line that we'll take a station break at the end of this round, which is round five. Barring action of a nature that compels us to stay here. But Sanchez's counter-punching getting steadily more effective. with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this from our local stations. We're back live in Tucson, Arizona. Round six is underway. 
Castillo trying to reestablish his earlier dominance. He had a good second half of the last round. In the beginning of the round, Sanchez had uh, been carrying the fight. That round might fairly have been called even. Remember, we have two Mexican judges and one California judge scoring this fight. Ramon Barrowman of Mexico, Jorge Velasco of Mexico, and Dr. James H. Jenkins of California. Castillo's head. I was about to say in a good right by Sanchez. Sanchez trying to make his own effort more and more aggressive at this point. Trying to use the counter punch because the Castillo youngster is so quick of hands. Use the counter punch with enormous effectiveness and he's beginning to succeed. This is sixth round action. That exchange spoke for itself. Interesting point, Beto Martinez is, of course, co-manager, trainer, and chief second of Ruben Castillo. And yet he worked in Sanchez's corner for the Lopez fight. They're throwing a lot of punches. They're not connecting that much. Not at this point. Excellent combination by Young Castillo. This is round six, and shortly it will be history. A lot of missing. It is history. We're back live in Tucson, Arizona, round seven, WBC featherweight championship at stake. Sanchez in the white trunks, right of your screen, defending in the challenger, Ruben Castillo. In perspective, it's been an excellent, rapidly paced fight. In the last round, both of them turned to counter-punching. That's more Sanchez's game than Castillo's. Steele with the quicker hands, carried the fight in the early rounds. Fight seems to me to be getting closer. Punching by Sanchez, an excellent evidence of it. Sanchez's finishing counter left, a strong blow. Minute and a half into this, the seventh round. Castillo at that point. Sanchez 
looking steadily stronger. And Castillo fell prey to the right lead there. And he is not throwing the punches in anywhere near the numbers that he did in the first three rounds. the seventh round for the champion Salvador Sanchez as in the late stages Castillo tries to come back but without the earlier effectiveness all right quickly for an update on the Olympic boycott story here's Jim Lamplin back that action in the seventh round I have this fight marked very, very close at this point. After seven rounds, Sanchez may be in stronger shape. And I thought that Castillo was superbly conditioned because Castillo has not been throwing the punches the way he did earlier. And Sanchez is now catching him. There, you saw the right lead again after a good score by Castillo. But Sanchez catching him effectively with his counter punching. This is the eighth round. Two essential points have brought Sanchez back. Well, maybe three. He's begun to land the right lead with greater frequency, and that's a tremendously effective blow. He has used the left in the recent three or four rounds with much greater efficiency than he did in the opening rounds of the fight. And his counter-punching has been methodical, purposeful. He knows how to pick his spots and how to get those answering blows in there. There was the right lead in there again. Now he's beginning to use his superior upper body strength to maul Castillo a bit. And here in the eighth round, well, we commented on a change of the tempo in the contest in the fourth round, beginning to go Sanchez's way. And he is sustaining that change tempo in his behalf. more and more missing too many times and always the danger of leaving yourself open especially to so effective a counter punch as Sanchez 45 seconds left in this the eighth round Notice how Sanchez gets the left lead in more. Two misses, three misses by Castillo. Wasted effort. A long right and a follow-up left by Castillo as the eighth round come to, comes to its close. Salvador Sanchez, now Ruben Castillo, ninth round action, live from Tucson, WBC featherweight crown at stake, Sanchez defending. tough struggle. Fatigue figures to become a factor. In that case, I'm beginning to wonder about Ruben Castillo. So quick, so active in the early going, but so much less so in the recent four or five rounds. Missing so often with his punches, especially in the last two. Right there. Castillo knew he had hurt Sanchez with a quick, short, crisp left right to the face. 
But look at Sanchez come back. We commented that he's a patient fighter, that he's a methodical fighter with an extraordinary ability to stick to a fight plan. And he's been doing it, doing it very effectively. Well, referee Bertini Marcelo with a cautioning note to Sanchez. Right, the left did not score. That left it. He drew an oohs and ahs, Ruben did, but both blows missed. seconds left in round nine. Not many punches of any authority landed in this round. The end of round nine. We're back live in Tucson, Arizona, the Tucson Community Center, round 10, WBC featherweight crown at stake. Sanchez, back to you, defending Ruben Castillo, challenging. As we come to the 10th round, the fight is very, very close by most of the scoring at ringside. Castillo with a reasonably good comeback in the last round. There's that right lead. thus far. Because it's no surprise when a Mexican fighter takes punishment well, they have as a people an extraordinary ability to do that. It's always been true of Mexican fighters in Olympic competition. A minute 45 into this, the 10th round. in the 10th round against Arguello that Castillo started to go downhill. Fatigue. Again, we'd like to alert our stations along the line. We'll take a station break at the end of this round. Sanchez scoring very well in this round. its way and an excellent round for Sanchez left's getting in there now. we'll return with more of ABC's wide world of sports after this from our local stations Save. Sanchez. 
Sanchez against Castillo. Interesting to look at some of the scoring around ringside. I now have Sanchez slightly ahead. Some around here do not agree with that. They have it either even or Castillo slightly ahead. But as David Anderson once wrote in the Times, nothing so subjective in sports as scoring a fight. But you can see now how you get a sense of the solidity of Sanchez as a fighter. How he fights so well mentally, so intelligently. Adhering to plan, not wasting punches, not missing as many as Castillo. One telltale sign of a maturity growth in a fighter is when he doesn't waste his punches, when he knows when to throw them and how, and at a designated area. A minute 30 into round 11. An answering right by Castillo evoked draws, but in general, Sanchez is dominating. left uppercut and then the overhand right by Sanchez. Less than a minute left in round 11. Both Castillo blows were picked off and a third one missed. Sanchez now seeking to go to the midriff more. seconds left in the round and Sanchez is tattooing or was Castillo against the ropes. Castillo trying to come back and scoring. No quitting this kid. Ten seconds left and counting down and missed the 11th round and Castillo Castillo is saying a big comeback here at the very end. We'll stay between rounds. Raul Roldan. Those are the four in the champion's corner. A good quick right lead by Sanchez to open round 12. Tucson, and so are the fighters. A minute 25 into the 12th round. Madison Square Garden is a co-promoter of this fight. They can feel pretty good about it. punch by Sanchez. Castillo must be careful of that Sanchez right. You swing wildly, you can pay the piper. 
as Volbrecht did last Sunday against Pepino Cuevas. Five seconds left in the 12th round. You see the countdown, the lower right hand corner of your screen. Well, some wondered could Castillo go 15 rounds? At this point in time, I see no reason to doubt it. We approach the end of round 12. Round 13, the Tucson Community Center, live. Sanchez, right of your screen. Left of your screen, a fine little fighter, Ruben Castillo. Scorecards around the ring. All mark this fight as very, very close. Some have Castillo slightly ahead. Some have Sanchez slightly ahead. Others have the fight even. Make your own scoring decision up till now. Sanchez effective with the right. to the round, round 13. There can be no slackening of effort now by either fighter. Things are too late and too close for that. Good left lead there by Castillo. Got in. Castillo again for the flurry. over and a very good score by Castillo a left to right and a left bang 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 and it hurt Sanchez how do you like these shifting tides the ebb and flow within a round as patterns change one moment, one fighter. The next moment, another. They are right above us now. Forty-five seconds left. Round 13. Oh, an excellent counter left by Castillo. After Sanchez, it's caught with a right. Every 20 seconds, one or another of the fighters takes sudden control but only briefly. This is an action-packed 13th round. How would you score it? End of the round is here. The challenger, Ruben Castillo, coming out for round 14, giving an excellent account of himself against a very solid young champion. And they are, as I've noted, both kids, each only 22 years of age. The fight, by all accounts, a close one. Be interesting to see how those two Mexican judges score it. You just saw Sanchez score beautifully doubling up on the right, scoring, and then doubling up again and scoring. A quick flashing left by Castillo. Kid has a way of coming back at Just 
gives you a feeling, doesn't he, that he knows just what he's doing. Yes, he's human. He's been hurt by Castillo. But yet there is a composure there, a solidity. Little Red Lopez in attendance. Waiting for a shot at the winner. Wanting the crown he held so popularly back. So far, this has been an excellent round for Sanchez. As I said, an excellent round for Sanchez. Though there is a touch of blood flowing from his nose. Totally the aggressor now. A big and very important round for Salvador Sanchez. You want to end a fight on a high note, always. It's an old cliche in boxing, but the truth of it is what makes it a cliche. Leave the big impression with the officials. Notice Castillo missing consistently. Tremendous effort, but all of it wasted. Now to our studios in New York. Castillo has fought it. You've got to have all the respect in the world for him. LaBelle for round 15, the final round. The time to make the most compelling score possible. But now, Sanchez in that exchange beat Castillo to the punch. Picked off one Castillo blow, the other blow was missed. The left was scored by Sanchez. Now every blow counts, every score counts. Assuming that the officials have this fight as close as most everybody at ringside thinks it's been. That was a good left by Castillo. Two minutes to go in the fight and a good right by Sanchez. Sanchez is now throwing the heavy 11. I think it's fair and clear to say that. It's been a sparkling effort by both men. Again, the missing by Castillo. However, it's not enough for Sanchez to make Castillo miss. He must score himself, and Castillo got in a good right. But back comes Sanchez. And he is, see, wild punching, missing. Actually, four misses there by Castillo. And a fifth. left to go in this fight. Castillo missing and caught by the counterpuncher. And there, two quick lifts by Sanchez. By detailing the blows at this point in the fight, and in this kind of fight, Perhaps you can get a feel for the winner of the round. We have 20 seconds left. And if there's any question about Castillo's ability to go 15 rounds, the question exists no longer. A good left by Castillo. And the fight is over. Of the world, Salvador Sanchez.